I'm getting a facial now I was supposed to get a facial done in Brooklyn like around last year was it last year I think it was this year for um I think it was like January I was supposed to get a facial I was supposed to get a facial in January ended up not because like a whole mess like I'm, I was mad so we finally got here I think my skin studio. I got the get to know me facial because it's my first time. This is a fully customized facial for 90 minutes. That means the products and methods used during your treatment is specific to your current skin conditions. And my face be, I be breaking, I be breaking out. I don't know, I don't know, this is what I eat. Like I try to drink water, my face just be breaking out. So for the first 15 minutes, we're gonna talk about what my face needs and then um, what I get included in this treatment is enzymatic exfoliation, facial cupping, and ultrasonic scrubber. So those are the type of stuff that I'm going to be getting in my facial. But I'm going to hurry up and get my ass in there because I don't want to be like waiting. My face. I'm ready for my face to be up to par, okay? Mm -hmm. These are so comfy. Is that mainly like what a lot of your videos and stuff oh, about? I should take the mask off. Um, take a look. I'm gonna look at the intake form in a second. Let's get having a little bit mm -hmm. and relax. Okay. So this is your first facial. Yeah, it is like that. You do have some dead skin buildup on the nose, your cheek area, your forehead, and your chin. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do an overall full exfoliation from neck to forehead. I'm gonna steam you, not for too, too long, but just enough to soften up the congestion mm -hmm. to get it to come out. Honestly, with consistency, a consistent routine, and the right ingredients, you can even out your skin tone and fade that pigmentation. I'm just gonna take a before and after, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna double cleanse you, and then we're gonna get started. I can start like breaking down the dead skin cells mm -hmm. and loosening the bonds between the dead skin.
emblematic exfoliation. Um, and I'm gonna do a mixture of that with a little bit of a glycolic and lactic acid resurfacing mask to di digest the dead skin cells but also loosen the bonds between the dead skin cells at the same time. It's the glasses for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to protect your eyes from the really, really bright light and to make sure like I don't get any product in your eye. And I say the same thing to my client. I gotta do a lash extension. Uh huh. Like, I mean, listen, listen, I don't have insurance on people, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> try your best. Don't open your eyes. <laughs> try your best. Do you like it? Mm hmm I enjoy it. Like, especially the outcome. Like, people come in, you know, dry face, you know. <laughs> and then I spruce it up a little bit. There's a store I can just buy you to just, like, keep it my house. <laughs> When you stay consistent and you start noticing the results of staying consistent, people like, you know, start to enjoy it and it doesn't, don't look at it as like a chore. Two weeks to come first, really. now it's just like working. Yeah. You butter baby. <laughs> <laughs> This is a decongesting solution. Do you feel any tingling on your skin? Mm, no, not right This is to soften up the congestion. I'm gonna put a warm towel on you and I'm gonna turn the steam on so you can steam a bit so it can soften up the congestion. How did you know I need a <laughs> lifesaver? <laughs> steamers at home really because I feel like people over steam their skin and it can mm. lead to dehydration and because there's warmth to it mm. heat can also create pigment hyperpigmentation as well she knows her stuff <laughs> so that's why I'm not a big fan people always ask me like oh what do you think about steamers I'm like uh, don't use it at home, <laughs> don't use it at home. <laughs>
you think my forehead is? I just need to um, exfoliate it regularly, but yeah, it's not too bad. Do you normally have your hair in your face? Production or different information. Turn back here. This is a Hydro Jelly Intensive Aftercare Mask. It has willow bark, which is great for hyperpigmentation. It has lavender extract and actual lavender like leaves in it for just to reduce the inflammation um because of her the blackheads that she had and all the extractions i want to calm the skin down reduce the inflammation and also the sea algae and the hydrogelly mask itself helps lock in moisture so we're going to put this on her skin and it's going to sit for 15 to 20 minutes with a good moisturizer. You don't want to use a humectant and not use a moisturizer mm -hmm. because then your skin is going to end up being dehydrated again. I kind of use this like mister spray. Like it's like a coconut something mist spray and then I just like, I like rub it in after sometimes. Mm -hmm. So like, help. I feel like the lotion is in there. I feel like it's in there. It'll help for you to stay consistent with that. Okay. Um, along with but you're the agreeing with that I can do you can use, okay. you can use the mist mm -hmm. but I definitely would follow with a serum that has like hyaluronic acid mm -hmm. niacinamide because niacinamide is great for like breakouts and hyperpigmentation sometimes I would put it over your eyes mm -hmm. but because I'm putting it on your neck is why
but your skin looks way more hydrated when you came in there was like dullness especially very noticeable in your forehead area cheeks and chin um there was dullness there was dead skin buildup you had sebaceous filaments in the cheek you had blackheads and on the nose you had blackheads and whiteheads on the sides of the cheek now yes there's still some inflammation from the extractions but there's nothing in that pore anymore it's no longer impacted you don't have the sebaceous filaments in your cheeks anymore it's around the edges of the nostril so i just want to get you on a consistent routine that'll help maintain this and then we can move up to the next level and the and next get, level and get you. the instagram baddie face yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> the next thing for you that i would suggest is some derma planning followed with an enzyme peel mm -hmm. But I just need to get you on a consistent routine first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my face. I really should have put my hair in a bun, is what I really should have <laughs> done. Jess, you've definitely given me my confidence <laughs> back because my face was so bad. <laughs> what? Say hello, introduce, what's your page? Hi, my name is Lakeisha. I am the owner of Meliskin Studio. So you can follow me at Meliskin, M-E-L-A-S-K-I-N Studio on Instagram. And I will take a screenshot of the page and I'll put it next to, you know, on the screen here, here, whatever. And I'll put it also down below in the description box. But this is my skin, first time. And how did, how, how, do you think my skin, skin was that bad? I don't believe in there's any such thing as bad skin. She mm -hmm. just needed a little bit of guidance and some TLC. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And it looks bomb. See me in person. 